after the covid-19 we are now hearing about the monkey pox how dangerous is this and what should be done to counter it and how is it spreading so firstly monkey pox was first detected in africa way back in 1970 but unfortunately nothing much has been done to study the characteristics of the virus to find out the host animal that transmits the disease and the modes of transmission of this virus is uh, we have uh, uh, castigated china for not revealing much that led to the covid pandemic it's right i'm not denying that but why did the world and especially the developed world was so complacent when monkey pox virus was detected as early as in 1970 in fact in 2019 the virus for the monkey pox was approved and two antiviral that are used for treating small pox were was also were also approved but not much has been done to seriously in delve into the the process of the monkey virus how it spreads how it transmits etc etc this the reason is very simple if the monkey pox has occurred in the developed part of the world i am sure the world would have been woken up much early because the covid-19 was first found in china and united states and europe have very close intimate trade contacts with china so therefore it spread to the developed world usa and, and europe and subsequently the world has woken up quite unfortunately africa is the relatively isolated continent compared to china and african people are very poor they don't have the voice in the world and the world has completely ignored now we are paying the price for it in uh, in fact in nigeria since 2017 229 confirmed cases of monkey monkey pox were found and eight people died of monkey pox also but we have not bothered and 5 years later on may 7th 2022 the first case of lab confirmed monkey pox was detected in a person in united kingdom who has traveled from nigeria so since then since the first case was confirmed in a laboratory monkey pox has now spread to 21 nations and nearly 226 confirmed cases are available in the world and the experience of uh, uh, the look at the experience of africa in 1970 the first monkey pox case was detected and in 12 countries it is now endemic endemic means it just become part of the life so but in the 226 cases now reported in 21 nations all these 21 countries are non endemic this is a cause of concern detecting confirming reporting a monkey pox virus in a country that is already endemic is not surprising but all the 21 countries where at least one case is detected till now are non endemic raising the alarm bells in fact much before the uk confirmed the first monkey pox case on may 4th samples were collected in portugal but the test was not done before uk first reported the case in canada on april 29th itself a person was found with monkey pox symptoms so that means the monkey pox has spread to the developed a non endemic world even before uk has confirmed the first case so today the problem here is we are have we still woken up to the monkey pox unfortunately the answer is no because we thought that it is a problem of africa unless it is considered as a problem of america or europe we don't react to that that's precisely now what is happening now the world has woken up precisely because the virus has spread to usa and europe all these 21 countries are mainly in america and uh, uh, usa north america and europe so at least now 
well there is a some amount of complacency precisely because the death rate mortality rate is relatively much less even the monkey pox is around 1 percent so even the ease with which it can the spread can be contained so relatively it doesn't spread much faster so you can relatively control it and there is already an approved virus and antivirals for the monkey pox so it's monkey pox is a virus similar to the family of smallpox viruses and the world has immense experience in dealing with the monkey pox so therefore but these cannot be the reason for complacency because we do not know how these viruses play havoc we have the experience of covid-19 so we need we cannot be complacent or complacency will prove to be disastrous the world should wake up to the phenomenon of pandemics phenomenon of epidemics irrespective of whether it first occurs in a developed world or underdeveloped world